Panini and Botiti Cafe. That's usually what they say when you're outside of a train in the train station in the middle of Italy. Anyways, Cafe. This is their coffee bean storage device, right? Your storage container for holding coffee. You know, why just stop at coffee? You can put anything you want in here, pretty much. Uh, very, very well constructed, I have to say. But let's just look at all the packaging and the boxing and all the good stuff. We'll get into the rest in a second. Uh, they do come in multiple different colors, I believe. I will put a link down below uh, so you can check that out. But basically, here's what you get. There's all the different products that they make. And I will put a link to their landing page down there. Uh, and then there's Cafe Welcome, you know, for your discount code. So, hey, you might as well use the code while you're seeing it, right? Why not? Anyways... There's an extended to your warranty. Who does that? Like who gives you a warranty with your cafe, you know, or coffee bean storage device thingamajiggy Two year warranty. There you go. Uh, so there's the, there's their uh, social media link to their, you know, website and all that good stuff. So you get that. Here's what the box looks like. If you want to go ahead and take a look at the box, uh, very well designed, very sleek, very chic, take care of your coffee and keep it fresh, much longer stirring your coffee beans, ground coffee in an airtight container. You get the idea there. Uh, and then there's that part, right? There you go. Keep grounded, keep ground, keeps grounded coffee or beans fresh. Secure pop. We'll show you that in a second. Premium design for modern kitchen. Perfect size for storing kitchen items. You know, it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, I would say this is somewhere in the ballpark of like give or take around four inches by four inches a square. And then in terms of height, it's around 10 inches tall, give or take something like that. Uh, but anyways, here, here's that side. There's your social media again. Here's the backside of water. So you can go ahead and check that out. Storage container, 16 ounces. So you can fit 16 ounces of whatever in there. Uh, that's by volume, I'm guessing. Not necessarily by weight. Okay, then model number. There you go. Black stainless steel. You get the idea. 16 ounces. There you go. Length was 41. So 4.1. So I wasn't, hey, I wasn't that far off. Just going to show you. My measurements are usually pretty spot on accurate. There's your height. Nine and a half inches. So I said 10, nine and a half. Close enough. Okay, there you go. Hand wash only. Not recommended for the dishwasher. There's their website. And then here's another backside of water thing. There's what the top looks like. If you want to go ahead and check that out. Sometimes in the bottom, there's stuff. Okay, there you go. Four Q brands. There you go. Cafe Atlanta, Georgia. That's the distributor. Made in China, so you get the idea. Anyways, very well thought out box and all the good stuff. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at the container itself. So what you do get is, is out here, there's like a little bit of a, uh, I guess this would be like a plastic or a polymer. Is that what that is? Yeah, plastic or polymer type liner. This part up here is like a stainless steel. And then this is glass. And then up inside of here, uh, on the on the other side of this, there is glass that goes all the way up. So it's mostly a glass container, which is kind of nice. I prefer glass over plastic. Like if I can, you know, opt for that and all that good stuff. What you do get up here is you do get a little, uh, you can change this however you want to for like, you can either make this when you put the coffee in there or when you want to take it out. And I guess it's for the months, right? It goes all the way up to 12. So with like a screwdriver or a coin or whatever, you can go in there and turn that and spin it to when you put your, you know, coffee or grounds in there or whatever. So how do you work it? So right now it's closed, which means it's sealed and it's creating like a suction seal. So the lid doesn't come off. But as you press this down, you basically just give it a good push. Boop, that comes up and then you use this as a handle to pull this up and off. And oh, there you go. There's the inside. So inside you get a nice glass container in there, right? Kind of like a kind of like similar to like a mason jar, uh, but definitely much easier to operate than a mason jar. This basically is you just put the lid back on, you push this down, you create your air seal. It's sealed again. You push this again, use this as your handle, lift up, and there you go. And that's that part. Uh, so here's what the inside looks like. If you want to go ahead and take a look at that. Right, you have some plastic up here, which is kind of helping to create that seal. And then down below it is the glass, right? The actual glass that's in there. There you go. Here's what the bottom looks like. If you want to go ahead and see the bottom, you can kind of see me in there just a little bit. Uh, but anyways, there's that part. And then here's the lid itself, right? Which is uh, as so, this feels like a good quality silicone, right? Which I guess is helping to create that seal, right? To help seal the, the container or whatever. And then just for, just for, you know, fun, let's push this and see what happens. So when you push this down, when you push that down, it basically pulls the two together. I think is what's going on here. Let me pop it. Yeah. So as you, as you push, as I push on this part and I'm pushing in, it's basically pulling the two ends together, right? So this side and this side, as I push this in, it's pulling the two together, which is expanding that silicone and creating that seal in here. So that's how the device actually works. And then as I push the button, 
basically unlocking it. See, then it opens up and it, it opens up to the point where it shrinks from the sides. And that's what allows you to pull the whole thing up and out. So very well designed. I'm guessing that if I took this apart in there, there's some kind of like an oval shape with like a ledge or a hook. And as you push in, it's catching that ledge and then holding it tight. Anyways, I think that's how it works. Uh, the engineer and me trying to do a little bit of work. But anyways, very well constructed, very nice. Uh, holds coffee very well. So you can hold, you know, give or take. I would say realistically, you could probably hold one, two, three, four, maybe like five cups of coffee or like five like cups. When I say cups, I'm talking about measuring cups of, gra of gr either ground or or whole coffee beans, whatever you can fit into. Like, let's say this was like maybe one and a half cups of so one, two, three, four, you know, take all of those quarters or whatever. Anyways, probably somewhere in the ballpark of around five cups, I think is what you could probably fit into that container. So five actual measuring cups of coffee beans or ground coffee, you get the idea. But what a cool little idea. This opening here is pretty wide. I would say that opening is probably like three and a half inches, maybe three and three quarter inches, something like that. So you can get like a spoon down in there to scoop out your, you know, ground coffee if you do it that way. Or if you keep your beans in here, you just pour out your beans. Anyways, you get the idea. I'm assuming uh, because I've never bought uh, or I haven't bought whole coffee beans in a while. I'm assuming that when you buy your coffee beans at the store, basically a, a typical bag the whole bag would probably fit into this container. You see what I'm getting at? Just saying. I'm going to use this for tea because I'm a tea aficionado, uh, tea lover, I would say. <laughs> but I'm going to I'm going to use this for like my chamomile teas and that kind of vibes. Maybe some spices. I'll, I'll probably get a few more and then do like a whole set where maybe one is chamomile, one is like, you know, a sleep time tea or whatever it is. Anyways, you get the idea. With that being said, if this is helping someone out there, comment in the comment section. Let me know. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure to check out the description section for a link to this and some other cafe products that I will put down there in the description section. I'm the old coot, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.